We've asked Audi, one of the most technologically advanced car manufacturers in the world, what must happen globally in the industry, infrastructure, and innovation spaces for us to become a globally sustainable civilization. And I want to know also, what is Audi's role in this going to be? Let's have a look at their answer. What does the industry of the future look like? How can industry contribute to a sustainable infrastructure and at the same time enable innovation? At Audi we want to shape the future of premium mobility. We want to be an active part in this transformation. This is why sustainability is a core key objective as it means future viability for everyone. Therefore, we are leveraging our competence in terms of technical engineering in order to contribute to a future worth living. At Audi, we are following an ambitious vision, namely to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. We have made a commitment to the two degree target as stipulated in the Paris Agreement and are doing our part to continuously contribute to this goal. We are working hard to minimize our corporate carbon footprint and aim for continuous decarbonization. We leave no area of our company untouched and have set ourselves ambitious goals for the next five years. Until 2025, we want to reduce the CO2 footprint of our products by around 30%. And for this, electrification is key. Not only our products will evolve, we want to change the whole company. We want all of our production sites to run carbon neutral by 2025. Our long-term goal is the decarbonization of the supply chain. We believe in partnerships. The more we are, the greater our impact will be. For the future of electric mobility, we have founded Ionity, a joint venture with our partners to build a fast charging network along European highways. For sustainable products, we have engaged in initiatives such as the Global Battery Alliance to achieve a standardized battery. For clean air, we have partnered with Climeworks to filter CO2 out of the atmosphere. And the Audi Environmental Foundation starts its work where greenovation begins. At Audi, we are following a clear roadmap, but let us show you exactly what it looks like. What is our part now for SDG 9? Well, first, uh, it is about resilient infrastructure. It is our obligation to provide sustainable mobility for society. Second, sustainable industrialization. Based on our expertise, on our know-how in manufacturing and in material stewardship, we will foster sustainability in this aspect. And thirdly, it's all about innovation. And you know, it's the core competence of our company. You all know Vorsprung durch Technik. And uh, till the year uh, 2024, we have the clear decision to spend 37 billion euros for research and development and CAPEX. We made our sustainability strategy part of the corporate strategy. We have a clear roadmap based on three major areas, which are climate change, resource stewardship and healthcare. Those are the guidelines for all our internal operation and our supply chain as well.
For us at Audi, managing a sustainable supply chain is about responsibility. As a customer, Audi is interacting with more than 16,000 direct suppliers and business partners in more than 150 countries. And as a customer, we can decide what are the criteria for business partners that enter our Audi supply chain. These are the criteria that can help to transform single suppliers and even industries towards more sustainability. And this is what we do with our supplier sustainability rating since July 1st last year. Every supplier who will enter the Audi supply chain has to pass a screening process on how they act in terms of social and environmental aspects, as well as corporate ethics. No positive rating, no business with Audi. The rating is great, but we want to be even more proactive. We want to shape supply chain sustainability in three main areas. First, environment, second, people, and third, innovation. Concerning environment, for example, the supply chain for e-mobility will be one of the main CO2 drivers. Hence, we develop tools how to improve the CO2 balance even before our vehicles embark on their first kilometers on the road. These tools include using green energy within battery production, recycling and closed loop concepts, and of course, the use of secondary materials. The people part is focusing on improving working conditions for the ones involved in our supply chain. To be honest, this is a big challenge. Why? Because for really making an impact, we need transparency of what is happening in our supply chain. One thing is setting standards. The other thing is being able to track if the standards are met. For this, we need our third area, innovation. We at Audi believe in progress through technology. Technologies like blockchain, artificial intelligence, or new grievance channels can and will help us to make a positive impact even up to the anti level. And this is what it is all about, responsibility and impact. Of course, what we expect from our business partners, we have to deliver and exceed ourselves. The most important issue for the production in our plants is to reduce our ecological footprint. Therefore, we have developed and established our environmental program Mission Zero. Mission Zero is the Audi environmental program for consistently sustainable production. All activities and measures for reducing the ecological footprint at the Audi sites worldwide in production and logistics are bundled here. We focus on the four key challenges decarbonization, water usage, resource efficiency and biodiversity. By 2025, our aim is to achieve net zero carbon emissions at all Audi sites. And we even go one step further with our already in 2009 established Audi Environmental Foundation. With this non-profit organization, we actively support research into new technologies and scientific methods for a livable future. We all know we are facing a big change in the automotive industry. The future means electromobility. And with electromobility, we are also facing new challenges. Recycling and reusing of different modules of the car becomes also more and more important. For example, one important step is second life usage of battery modules. As we all know, we can use battery modules as stationary storage for energy supply or energy grids. But we as Audi are going one step further. We also integrate such modules in the field of micromobility. For example, in our electric scooter Easy, we integrated two e-tron modules to achieve benchmark performance. Looking at the Paris Climate Agreement, we have to broaden the horizon even further. Filtering CO2 from ambient air to use it in a circular economy sounds crazy, but it is possible and could be a solution in fighting climate change. That's why we started an extraordinary project the cooperation with Climbworks, one of the leading experts in the direct air capturing technology.
The whole automotive industry is facing exciting changes, and so do we here at Audi. And this is just the beginning. Not only our products are evolving, we are really changing the whole company. And for this, electrification is key. By 2025, we will have launched 30 electrified models. About 20 of them will be fully electric. The other ones will be plug-in hybrids. At Audi, we have a clear vision to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. This is our commitment to the two-degree target as stipulated in the Paris Agreement. And we are doing our part to continuously contribute to this goal. This is why the industry of the future puts the focus on the human being and on our environment. Industry will be here to serve people and Audi will continue to shape the future of premium mobility.